So, it worked for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, but does the Pokemon Pass GPS spoof hack work with Pokemon Sword and Shield? What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and today I'm going to be redeeming the Walmart exclusive trainer outfit inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield without actually going to Walmart. Now, yes, the answer to my question in the beginning of the video is yes, 100%. You can GPS spoof the Pokemon Pass app into thinking that you at Walmart so you can redeem yourself codes for this special trainer suit outfit now there's a couple of ways to actually GPS spoof the Pokemon pass app if you're doing it on the phone on mobile there are a ton of GPS spoof apps that you can use that are available for free inside of the Google Plus store like fake GPS or fake GPS free either one gets the job done once you have the apps installed you need to give it permission inside of your Android device in order to change your location you can find these and the developer options if you haven't unlocked the developer options for your phone for whatever reason just do a quick YouTube search of your phone's developer options and you should pop up with a video explaining how to unlock your developer options for your particular phone because I do believe it is different depending on the make and model of your phone however once you gave the permission to the app that you are using the GPS spoof on you need to find yourself a Walmart I'm from New York currently in Switzerland right now but I I'm from New York and the Walmart that is closest to me that I actually know off the top of the head is one in Jersey City right next to North Vernon. It's like a little mall has Walmart it has staples and stuff like that price mark. I'm gonna have me zooming into the location so you guys can see it doesn't say Walmart there's a Walmart um, garden center that pops up on the GPS but I do know that there's a red box at the doors of the Walmart like right when you walk into the walk-in area so putting the marker on the red box will activate the event as well and then once you open up your Pokemon pass app you're gonna be hit with this it's gonna say you have arrived once you're at this screen you're pretty much good set to go just hit start It's gonna tell you a little bit of information about the items that you're gonna redeem this Walmart tracksuit outfit instead of hitting scan to scan the QR code what you want to do is hit the question mark on the bottom left hand corner of the screen and then it's gonna say skip this step meaning that you're gonna skip the step to actually scan the QR code so you don't need the QR code but how for whatever reason if you do if there is a clear version of the QR code I will show it here and then it's gonna show that you receive the gift you click get code once you click get code it's gonna show you a basically a digital card of the code for this tracksuit you click redeem code on the bottom and then you're gonna see a code on the screen now do note that the code that is here is the code I used I used this code the first one I redeemed it but as you can see on the bottom of the screen it does say need another code because the Pokemon pass app the way it works it usually gives out multiple codes for the same distribution just in case people need to get for their second copy of the game or whatever reason so if you are one of the few people watching this video very early then the next two codes are free and up to grabs you can go ahead and grab them and redeem them if somebody else used them I'm sorry but here it is two extra codes for you guys anybody watching the video so yes this does work as you can see on blue stacks which is a PC emulator for Android and again this is perfect for people who don't have a Android device who are on iOS well if you have a computer just download BlueStacks I am gonna have a link to the BlueStacks website it's basically a Android emulator it runs on basically a potato of a computer you don't need a strong laptop to run it and then what you can do on the BlueStacks application is go into Google Play and then from Google Play download Pokemon Pass app log into the Pokemon Pass app with your uh, trainer club account and then also download a GPS spoof and tell the GPS spoof to spoof the blue stacks emulator to fake the location that you are at the Walmart when you actually aren't and again it will work seamless and flawlessly I was able to redeem three codes again I am currently in Switzerland so there is no Walmart out here so this was the only way for me to actually redeem the Pokemon pass at myself outside of getting one of my friends in New York to actually go and do it for me but again this is pretty cool because this also gives players that aren't in the US or aren't in the place where Walmart is located to go and grab the codes as to go and grab the codes also they do give you three codes so if you only need one and you end up 
with three. Go in the comments below in the video and drop some code so so someone who probably doesn't have a good working PC or whatever reason don't have an Android device or find this too confusing can also pick up the codes. And do note that the Pokemon serial codes for Pokemon Sword and Shield are region free. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can redeem this US based code. You can go into your game, enter in a code if you have a fresh one and get yourself this outfit. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you don't have a Walmart in your location, but your Pokemon Sword and Shield game is from like Japan or something like that, and you don't have Walmart out there, then you still can redeem your Walmart outfit because the codes are region free. Now that's going to do it all for this video. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this outfit. I personally don't like it. I'm definitely not going to wear it, but I do think it's pretty cool that they gave a special outfit to a Pacific store because then that opens up the potential for other stores and other distribution in the future. And as you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's chat it up down there. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. And with the Pokemon Sword and Shield games just releasing, I'm going to do a ton of Pokemon Sword and Shield coverage and how-to videos and stuff like that. So if you want to be kept in the loop, hit that subscribe button. Also ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop a video. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over into recommended so other people can check out the video. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.